I can put the rest of this together now. Nope, not so fast. All right, goodies are starting to roll in. The Tyrannus is here. Got a huge stash of little tiny screws and such hardware. Hopefully we'll hold this thing in one piece. And of course a servo to raise and lower the landing gear and with a spare so when I break the first one I have an extra. I'm still missing the carbon fiber rod pieces for the landing gear but you can see that what the each of the arms is going to look like. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm using brass threaded inserts as recommended by Mr. RCCam on the rcgroups.com forum. Uh, you just heat this up with your soldering iron and push them right into the plastic. They're pretty awesome, way easier to use than helicoils, and way cheaper. And you can reuse them, which is awesome. So I got these insert nuts that go with this quarter inch threaded rod that I'm going to use for my landing gear. I just pressed it right in there with the soldering iron, just like the brass inserts, um, melted right into place, and this should give a decent motion when that servo spins this rod. So, Of course, we need a bigger servo cap to fit that rod into, so here that goes. Well, my carbon fiber tubes finally came. Floated here from China, took two weeks, and these are not the right size. I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, it's kind of annoying because here I was thinking, okay, I can put the rest of this together now. Nope, not so fast. Well, I guess it's better to have this happen while you're assembling it rather than while it's in the air. And uh, this is what would have held the two motors on. So that, that whole thing would have just flown away. No, no, that's bad. This is one of many parts I've had to reprint so far. Yeah. This is the MG995 servo. We're going to modify it for continuous rotation. So we replace those blue wires with a couple of resistors and grind off the little nub on the left gear there, which you can see is metal. So these are super cheap and pretty strong. So this should do the job, I think. Check the video description for the Instructables page of how to modify this. So I got most of the frame done. Um, the body, I mean, mostly put together here, there's just test fitting and threading all the holes. Um, I'm going to have to take it apart to finish putting all the electronics in, so I didn't put all the supports and things in there that are supposed to be there, but... And here's our first glimpse of what this thing is going to look like eventually. Of course, nothing is actually hooked up. And that was the sound of my frame breaking. So the landing gear rod got stuck during testing and basically forced the two halves of the frame apart and ripped these threaded inserts right out. And I'm not sure if I can salvage this frame, so I might have to spend another eight hours printing a new one. This is not good. Well, I went to work on the landing gear of the drone today. Uh, I thought I had printed what would be my final servo cap and be able to actually get this threaded rod going and get the landing gear working correctly today. And when I went to go uh, try to install the new servo cap, I found my arm mount piece, which goes something like this broken in half for no reason. I don't know why. It was just sitting there um, and it was broken. Um, how the hell am I supposed to trust this thing to fly around if it breaks just sitting there? Uh, I don't know if somebody broke it uh, or if it's just uh, crap because this little ring here, that little ring of plastic holds the whole damn thing together. Uh, maybe I need to print again with like 100% fill, or maybe I shouldn't use ABS. I don't know, but this project is really frustrating me. And I would say that at this point, don't start it. Wait three months and see what the uh, 
people on the forums do. The community is what's going to make this thing possible. Um, the RC Hobbies UK guys basically dumped this garbage off on the rest of us and then abandoned it. They haven't been saying shit on their website. Um, they haven't provided a lot of the stuff they said they would. And I wouldn't give them my money until more people have this thing working. Some people on the RC Group's forums have been working to fix some of the issues with this, um, redesigning some of the parts that have problems, and they've been sharing them with everybody, which is awesome. Um, if it wasn't for them, nobody would ever get this thing to fly. So those guys are awesome. But if I were you, if you haven't started this project, don't do it. Go build something else and wait a while and then see how this turns out because it might just be that a lot of people waste dozens of hours of their lives um, only to fail completely and never get this thing to fly. Or maybe they do get it to fly and then it just explodes in midair and a thousand dollars worth of pieces comes crashing down to earth. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to finish this. I'm hoping to. Um, I need a new frame because the one I, you know, the original one is way too damn small to even fit a battery in. So um, I'll probably keep trying. So stay tuned to see how this turns out. But as of right now, I don't see this thing flying anytime soon. So don't waste your time. Seriously. Arrgh.